Well, I'm going to get straight to it. This year, I took another major hit on my pocketbook with the annual. Last year, I ended up redoing the engine, and I think I spent a combined total of $15,000. This year is quite a bit cheaper. Let's break down some of the things that were found. So I have a list here. You can see it's a total of roughly 30 items or so. What? I'm just going to go through a couple here just so you can understand what plane ownership really means and how much it costs. Now, in this case, I'll be honest with you, I did not get a pre-buy inspection on this plane. Dumb. And that's where a lot of these problems are, are stemming from, from the previous owner. Now, I will go to state that the previous owner was a mechanic, and you can't trust everybody. The things that were stated in the logbook were not things that were actually done based off of what's on here and what he had logged in the logbook. And also what that mechanic at that time had told me. So let's go through a couple of things here. We'll start with number one. Uh, just basic things, you know, like the fuel hose um, didn't have a fire sleeve. Definitely needed a fire sleeve. That wasn't too much of an expense there. Air filter needed to be changed, which that's common. It happens in annual, every annual for me. However, this time around, we actually figured out that there was a bracket AD that wasn't complied with. So we did that as well. That com cost a combined hundred dollars there. Starter cable was chafing, you know, small things like that. Spinner needed new screws and washers. We got all that done. That's that was too easy. One of the bigger expenses here was that the right muffler had a crack in it. That could lead to exhaust leaking into the cockpit, which you know could be a fatal problem to have in an airplane, especially when you're that high up. It could definitely pass out due to carbon monoxide, and you know what happens from there. That one we replaced, and that cost a combined total of six hundred and sixty dollars. We had a crack under the left flap which it was minute very small so we did a stop drill there that wasn't a big issue flat buttons really small thing but one thing that needed to be fixed and addressed as well so we got that done very cheap probably under ten dollars before we started this what i basically did is i gave the mechanic here my all of my log books which a lot of mechanics require anyway but what i stated to him was i don't care how small or how big it is find it and let me know and we'll get it fixed and that's what he's doing this guy has been amazing and i definitely appreciate it the fuselage data plate on the back of the plane it needed to be replaced so we did that that was probably a 20 dollar fix not too much there the wing tips needed fiberglass repair instrument panel shock mounts were broken so every time i was landing the instrument panel was shaking a little bit that was fixed that was also like a 60 dollar repair but you can see how all of these small things start adding up after a while uh one of the beacon bulbs was out that was a 20 dollar repair and the next thing we get into is a lot of these 337s right so a 337 is basically a a form that has to be filled out every time that there is a major repair to an airplane and after talking to the FAA, we ended up putting in a request for them to send us everything that was submitted and we found that three I think it was either three or four things were not submitted to the FAA when they were installed. One of them was the, the new oil uh, system. And another one was this little seat belt back here. As you can tell, the seat belt back here uh, was also put in, but there was never a 337 submitted to the FAA. So those those cost about $150 a piece. And I think we did four, four uh, 337s, so $600 there, right? So you can see how stuff starts adding up after a while, no matter how big or small the expenses. Rudder cables were chafing. That wasn't a big issue. We fixed that as well. Another big issue that we ran into was my front strut was very, very low for some reason. And then with that front strut, there was actually also, and this is another huge expense here, there was a crack in the front firewall on the lower left side, and that came from somebody doing a really crappy repair this is something that may have been caught in a pre-buy inspection had i opted to take one so i definitely regret not doing that at this point because that was a two thousand dollar fix and i also had to fly it to a different airport so you had the gas expenses up for that and then you know paying somebody to pick you up or ubering back um those expenses add up and i feel like doing a pre-buy inspection definitely would have saved me a lot of money here so Get your pre-buy inspection if you are going to buy an aircraft. Then uh, what was noted was that the left fuel gauge was reading zero. That was a minor fix as well. There was a mechanism on the inside that just needed to be recalibrated. That wasn't too easy of a fix as well. Front spinner bulkhead was badly broken, so we replaced that. That was a $200 fix. Wires under the panel 
were loose. They were just hanging. The last owner just, I guess, didn't care about wire management. And, you know, me working in the IT field, I have a uh, really, really bad OCD problem when it comes to cables and wires. So we needed to fix that. I think probably one of the biggest expenses I had on this plan were the magnetos. So we ran through the log books again and we figured out that there was never really an entry since 1992, I believe, that stated that the magnetos were overhauled. So we immediately took out the magnetos and sent those out to get rebuilt. And uh, I'll tell you what, that was worth every penny because I, there's barely any drop now. That's pretty much it i think my total cost this year adding up the labor and the parts came out to about eight thousand dollars which is pretty close to half of what i spent last year but everything that needed to be addressed is addressed now so next year i'm not really expecting too much of an expense so yeah that was my expense this year um hope you found some of this information very useful and helpful and right now i'm gonna pull out piper and we're gonna take her for a test flight because i haven't flown her since all of these repairs were made. So stay tuned for the next video and let's test out these cameras and Piper.